Hi, my name is Alicia Coda. Um, this is week two of Bio 225. The lab experiment for today is antiseptic techniques. So the first, it, what we're supposed to do in this lab is show you how we use um, antiseptic techniques to have a sterile culture. Um, so the cultures that I will be um, putting into a nutrient broth are going to be the uh, S. epidermitis, which is a staphylococcus or epidermitis, and then I have the E. coli culture, and then also I have the yeast, which is another word, or which is a form of Saccharomyces cervicea. cervicea. So um, what I'm going to do is use uh, the antiseptic techniques to have the cultures into a broth. So first what I would do is I'm going to start with the epidermitis, cephalococcus. So take the bottle out. Okay. And I'm going to get the nutrient broth that's labeled with the staphylococcus. And then I have the culture. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to have the nutrient broth. And it's important to hold it at an angle because there's microbes everywhere. So you don't want nothing to contaminate it. I'm going to put it over the flame so that it sterilizes the tip of the tube. And also for the culture vial that I have. Then I'm going to use the alcohol. I have three of the pipettes in alcohols to keep them sterile. I'm going to collect 0.25 from the nutrient broth. So it's 2.5 and then I'm going to insert it into the, the vial culture. And then I'm going to once again um, sterilize the tubes, recap to, com uh, to prevent uh, contamination. I'm going to shake the tube until the, there's a tablet in there until it's dissolved. And then once it is all liquefied, I will then grab the broth again. And sterilize. Make sure that both are both tubes are tilted and sterilize the tips of the tube so that there's no contamination. I'm gonna use the pipette again. Make sure all the alcohol is out, out of the tube. Then with the tube, I am going to go into the, the culture vial, collect, make sure all the all falls out, collect the 2.5 of the culture then make sure that there's no contamination again I'm going to heat it and then I will inoculate it into the broth I'm going to dispose of the pipette because it's now contaminated and put it into the 10% bleach again sterilize both tubes and cap So I will be performing this for the three cultures. Um, I then have to place them in the inoculating areas or inc incubation areas that I have chosen so that the, um, the culture could, uh, the microbe could grow in my broth. And then after 48 hours, the, the culture ha should have um, some growth. So hopefully after 48 hours, there'll be growth in each of these tubes and then after that I will um, do uh, isolation of all my cultures and that will be in the next video.
So thank you, and that completes the antiseptic techniques lab.